Hi guys, welcome to another audio video in Dab Reading, Revelations 15 of the King James Version Bible, and it reads, And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of God. And I saw as it were a sea of glass, mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the, glo the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvellous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy. For all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. And after that I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened. And the seven angels came out of the temple, having the seven plagues, clothed in pure and white linen, and having their breasts girded with golden girdles. And one of the four beasts gave unto the seven angels seven golden vials, full of the wrath of God, who liveth for ever and ever. And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God, and from his power, and no man was able to enter into the temple, till the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. Alright guys, so here in this chapter we're told of the time where the wrath of God will be on the earth, and during that time we will not be able to enter into God's house because he will not allow for it while the seven plagues are taking place, right? So there'll be no hope there for those who are trying to run to save themselves at that appointed time because the end would have been, the judgment would have been nearer than ever before, closer than ever before, right? And so we know that we ought to seek God when we can. And if you realize it said that those that overcame the beast, those that did not take the mark of the beast, those, they are standing on a glass, right? And so we see that they have overcome in Christ Jesus. And we need to be the same way also in that we will stand up for God and we will be able to stand on seas of glass and rejoice that God is indeed powerful and he is indeed able to save us, right? Mighty is he, marvelous are his works. Hallelujah. All right, so guys, I'm just going to leave that right there, but please remember to continue to walk in your salvation. And if you've not yet gained it, then seek it. There is no better time to begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.